When you think of an ecosystem as a whole, and this could be an ecosystem in the national forest, or this could be the ecosystem that makes up your lawn and garden, it includes the animals, it includes the plants, but something that we often don't think about is the soil. A lot of what's driving all the plant growth above the ground is soil microbes and other things going on down in the soil that make all of this possible above the soil. So the soil is really important, so take good care of your soil and don't call it dirt. Is your soil sandy or clayton? We talk native North Florida soil and what you can do to keep it healthy. So let's see what we get here. Today we're going to be talking about soil and its impacts on plant growth. And you know, one of the big things you want to look at is what is the overall texture of your soil? So for those folks that live in the north part of Leon County, they know if they start digging, they hit what tends to be called clay a lot. Where if you're on the south side of Leon County, you're going to have a lot of sands. The dividing line is an ancient coastline called the Cody Escarpment. Lake Munson and Munson Slough are just south of the scarp in what used to be sandy ocean bottom. A little bit of a soil profile showing up, but I think a hole will be nice because it'll show it much cleaner. And when we think about soil, again, it's this living thing. It's made up of either sand, silt, or clay. And that comes from the breakdown of rocks, right? So this sand that we have here, at some point was part of rocks, maybe part of the Appalachian Mountains that has made its way all the way down to Florida. So this time, Rob, we are at the Leon County Extension Office uh, Demonstration Gardens, and we're gonna look at the soil here. This site is located uh, just on the edge of that scarp we talked about, the Cody Escarpment. So we have a little bit more clays in our soil here. Okay, I see we're getting down to some orange stuff down there. Even that orange reddish soils up in the north part of Leon County, it's actually more sand. It's just a little bit of the clay with the iron oxides give it that red color of clay. Orangeburg is the main soil type of these kind of Tallahassee Red Hills, but it's Orangeburg fine sandy loam is the classification of that soil type. So you can tell you're dealing with clay because as you start to put it together in your fingers, you can almost make what soil scientists would call a ribbon. So it, it clumps together. Just like think of like clay, you play in an art class. But this ribbon, this is actually getting pretty long, so then it breaks. But if you take this material and you rub it, those fine clay particles will get, you know, kind of stuck almost in your fingerprints, it feels like. The size of the grain affects its soil structure. Sand, silt, and clay, the difference there is the size. So sand grains, really, really big. Silt, somewhere in the middle. And clay would be these tiny, tiny little grains. So the more of these larger grains you have together, you have these big sand grains with lots of space in between because they can't pack together tightly. Healthy soil is half space. So when you have healthy soil and you have a big rain, it absorbs a tremendous amount of it before it's saturated and water starts, starts to run off. You want a water movement, you want air movement, so you don't want all sand you don't want all clay. Ideally, you got something right there in the middle that makes water kind of cruise through slowly, but not too quickly that the plants can't pick any up. And also you want air movement moving throughout those grains because roots actually need oxygen. The vast majority of soil is rock and space. But even though it's a small percentage of soil composition, organic matter matters to plants. One thing homeowners can do is constantly be adding mulch, compost, to develop that really nice topsoil layer, organic matter. When you build the organic matter in the soil, 
there's a big difference in what happens with moisture, with, with rain. In, in soil that's low in organic matter, it can absorb only a little bit of water and most of it runs off, carrying some of the soil and nutrients with it. But when you build healthy soil, when you get that 3% organic matter going on, the microbes doing all that activity actually change the structure of the soil. In our next segment, we talk about organic matter in your soil, and Herman shares how he creates compost for Turkey Hill Farm. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.